a save there, and they score! So here's Lassen with a shot, and he scores! And he drives it out, walking in, he shoots and scores! Mustangs, draw first blood! It's Rezzy, gets a shot, and he scores! 4-4! Oh. <laughs> Lachlan going to the net, shoots, and he scores! And towards Cox, goes to get the shot away, and Davis makes the save, no, it's in! Live from O'Brien Group Arena in Melbourne, this is AIHL TV. The regular season is brought to you by Air Canada, who offer the only daily and non-stop service to Vancouver. For details, visit aircanada.com.au. Onus. Onus are a direct infrastructure investor with a portfolio worth in excess of $50 billion. ATC Productions, your live event technical provider and APA Group, delivering Australia's energy. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the O'Brien Group Arena here in Melbourne for this AIHL clash between the CBR Brave and the Melbourne Mustangs. It's the fourth and final regular season meeting between these two teams tonight, with the Brave currently leading the season series 2-1 after a 7-5 victory over the Mustangs here last night. The Mustangs staged a late comeback but were unable to snare any points last night, and with that, have virtually almost consigned their slim AHL final series chances to the dustbin and need a real miracle from here on in. My name's Steve White and joining me in the commentary box, as always, it's a very good evening to Rod Johns. Is it so slim that it's like a Jenny Craig success story? Uh, well, that's, uh, well, wow, that's, uh, you got to think about that yeah, one. Yeah, I can't, I can't think about that one, yeah. Ah. I can't think of anything on the top of my head, but look, Mustangs, uh, look, they're really clutching at straws now. I mean, like, they, they really, as you said off air, they really needed to a good weekend last weekend. Absolutely, mate. And they had an opportunity to really shake a few things up and get back in the ladder where they wanted to be. And unfortunately, it just never happened. Yeah, I mean, look, they're sitting 18 games played. They've got 19 points. The Ice are one point behind them in seventh on 18. But the Bears, who destroyed the Melbourne Ice last night 7-1, are uh, now four points clear of them and have three games in hand. We'll have two after this evening. And uh, look, Mustangs, I'd say they left their run a little late. Absolutely, without yeah. a doubt. And I think, again, that they got caught behind the eight ball and they had a chance to sort of dig themselves out of a bit of a hole. I mean, they went to Canberra and actually won that first game which really gave them a jump to get back into it. And then when they had uh, other opportunities that were easier than that, they did capitalize on them. And yeah. so here we are. And like you said, it's slim or bare to center bear. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, the cupboard's very, very bare. You're down to the last uh, couple of uh, jars of gruel. Yeah. Uh, Maybe honey. Little... Oh, and, and that as well. That's a bit more tasty than, uh. than gruel. But uh, look, the key to the game tonight, obviously, is the Mustangs are going to play the way they did the first time they did against the CBR Brave. Absolutely. Yep. Or, or even, um, uh, I think, Melbourne Ice in that first game too. But, but they can't stand around and wait. And so you didn't get to see the game yesterday, but in the first two periods, they came out like a house on fire in the first shift, and they should have scored, and they didn't. Yeah. Um, Hewitt played very well and, and blocked them out. And then all of a sudden, it was like they went to sleep, and they were asleep for two periods, and it was 6-1. I was like, I'll spot you a few, and then we'll come and play. And they and they started back in the third period, and they got to 6-5, yeah. and the momentum was all with them. And they had a chance to actually even the score. And unfortunately, that backfired when they pulled their goaltender. Yep. They got caught watching, and it's 7-5, and it's all over Red Rover. Yep. So Mustangs, well, it's uh, more about salvaging a... Uh, I'm not trying to put the queue in Iraq with eight, eight games to go left or nine left in the season for the Mustangs, but it's, it's really... Uh, they have to, I think we put the tweet out last week. They needed two points from every remaining game to, to be in contention. Well, now that's gone up to at least three. Yep. Um, but, uh, you know, stranger things have happened in this league. We're not going to be eternal pessimists. But uh, we'll come back with the start of the play as we go down to center ice for the national anthem.
right, that does it for the formalities as we are about to get set here for the Mustangs and the CBR Brave, the final meeting between these two teams, barring they don't meet in the AIHL final series presented by Air Canada, which uh, will be the first weekend in September. And don't forget, you get your tickets for that. Head on over to the AIHL.com. And we hope to uh, see you here in Melbourne. And as for any being any Melbourne teams in that uh, weekend, we cannot guarantee, and it's probably a guarantee that they won't be at this stage of the season. That's the first for about nine years, I think. Anyway, the starting goaltenders, starting in net for the Melbourne Mustangs. It's Petri Pickin in 13 games played, record of 4, 9 and 1 in the shootout. Save percentage of 0.874%. And for the CBR Brave, Matt Hewitt, 15 games played, 13, 1 and 1, 2 in the shootout, 0.928 save percentage. And, well, it's going to, if any, if, if last night, excuse me, was any indication, now uh, we're in for an offensive showdown yet again and uh, if you obviously look at the CBR Braves uh, lineup and their statistics uh, they are very offensively stacked that being said though the Mustangs have plenty of offensive talent they've just got to use it right that's right um, there's no doubt about it like I said they've got a lot of firepower um, they just have to be more efficient in what they're doing and, uh, and without a shadow of a doubt they're gonna have to watch out for a couple of the Canberra players uh, there's absolutely no doubt that this Mr. 48's got good hands, good speed. He reads the play very well, and he's the last guy you want to leave open. And then, of course, there's the old arch rival nemesis, Mr. Hughes, yep. along with uh, the Kubara clan and uh, a few others. So they're going to have to watch out for Canberra's offense and not let them get the jump on them. So we just got a little issue with the goals down at Matt Hewitt's end. Also, should mention the new rink opened in Melbourne last weekend. Uh, Did we you skate at it? Yet. Oh, no, I haven't. It's literally two streets over from my house. I really should get over there. You haven't no, skated No on excuse it. not to. Yeah. Ice HQ out there in Reservoir. So it's great to see another rink in Melbourne. I mean, we were down to two. We were down to one there before this place opened in 2010. Yep. So, uh, you know, I think we had one stage in Victoria. We had six. Yep. So, uh, yeah expansion and contraction and expansion again so it's good well, to see the sport growing again i hope that um, that the clientele at reservoir are smart about how they operate in the facility because there's no doubt about it that the more facilities you have the more the sport will grow indeed it will your referees tonight rob love and casper russell huber wearing the bands in the alliance with sam Pereira and russell dow as we get underway here between the brave and mustangs as Kubara of the Bailey variety swings it across. It's chipped up there by Gerling. He goes searching for the puck there. We're playing on a line here with Wave, Darge, and Chris LeVay. As the Mustangs lock it in the def offensive zone. And it's chipped out there by LeVay. Around now here to Bailey Kubara with a bit of time and space. Centering pass there for Gerling. Ends up on the stick here of McCoy. And it's picked up by Davies down the near side. Davies feathers one through to, the, to Jones with a shot. Oh, that was wide of the glove there of Matt Hewitt. Kept in onside there by McMahon, albeit for a second. Having his pocket pick there was the blue liner Hayden Dawes, dual citizen. Picked up there by Davies. He's met by two CBR Brave players. And it's slapped away and up and back to Troy Robertson there here for the Mustangs and the Brave change on the fly. Here's Humphreys down the far side. Humphreys now to the outside. Just delays and uh, waits for options to become available. Humphreys is muscled all the way. Good shape, a shot there off the stick of Burke and it was uh, shanked onto the stick there of Matt Hewitt and he's forced into his first meaningful save for the game. Here come the Brave now with Podzant and Joey Hughes. It's Chipped into centre and Kai Mietnan floats one over the crossbar and no real threat there. The net of Petri Pickenden. He goes back now. Shot there from Podzins again and he fanned on that one. He's going to get it back now here from the cycle on Kai Mietnan. As it's fought for here by the Brave. Here's a shot from Flanagan. That one's blocked up high by Burke and he takes over now here for the Mustangs. Slends one across to Brenda McDowell. He plays a little chip in behind the net there of Hewitt. Just beat up the forecheck there of Mitch Humphreys. A good solid check placed there by Abs. Abs, oh, he had an open net, but a, an almost impossible angle to try and thread that through as Hewitt was well out of his crease. And the Brave get away with one. As Flanagan goes to work there on Abs. Loose puck picked up by Stringer. He finds Vyasov with a shot and kicked out there by Hewitt. 
Kept alive now here by Bright. He fires one on that, and that one is blocked up high. And into the opposite corner, Mietnin can't get it clear. Kolesnikov flings it right back on net. And it's wide of the net there of Matt Hewitt. Picked up by Stringer. Behind the net, give and go in. Try He's out with a shot. Great save from Hewitt, who came out to cut the angle off and keep it at nothing-nothing. Well, isn't it interesting? If you had seen yesterday's game, it started off like this as well. Like I said, the first shift, they were all over Canberra. And you'd have to say the first uh, portion of this game, really, it's been all Mustangs taking it to Canberra. And if it wasn't for Hewitt, it could be a couple, a couple up already. Indeed, the, the Brave got three goals in the first period last night and outshot the Mustangs 11 to 7. Here's Jones. He picks it up in the bottom of the circle. Hand it off. Now here's McCoy with a bit of room. He shoots and uh, Hewitt took daylight away and it's forced out to center. McPhail giving chase here for the Brave, beaten to it. Ferguson picks it up near side and wheels back around a couple, around a couple of Brave players, one of them being Chris Kubara. Ferguson still got it to the high slot. Done pretty well as Ferguson tried to slide it through. Prevented there. Gets it back now here to McCoy at the point. McCoy fires and a glove save by Hewitt. A loose it in the crease. And somehow that stayed out. It looks like Jones at the side of the net was prodding at it. And Matt Hewitt went butterfly and it's blown dead. That was very, very fortunate uh, because it got right under him and it was sitting behind him. So if somebody had been there like... Uh, um, Ferguson's Ferguson got his stick tied up and I think if he could have freed his stick he might have had a goal there because it was free for the taking and Ben Davies there just at the top of the crease as well so the the early uh, opportunities well in favor of the men in orange black and white here's Harvey with a rifle pass it's cut off just inside by Burke when he couldn't take advantage of it Gerling can and he busts in down the net far side Gerling nice moves from him but uh a nice poke check prevented his progress. It moves out now here to Humphreys. Muscled off it by Gerling. Good second effort from him. Back ends across to LeVay. LeVay now forced to dump it wide and back to the point as Flanagan tried to keep it alive. But uh, McDowell did pretty well to backhand it out. But Gerling electric already. It's it now here to Wahib Daj. Daj now. The former Adelaide Adrenaline player. Second season with the Braves. Still got the puck. Slide of the net. His Gerling did well to control that. And Draw Pitkin and down low, but the Braves still have it. Flanagan across, a quick shot, and oh, that was just wide from Harvey. It's moved back now in front. Oh, and Dodge, he scores. Thought initially Pitkin had made the save, oh. but Wave Dodge unattended in the slot. He's made it one nothing. It's funny in the the pre the pre the pregame chit chat. I never mentioned Weave Dodge, but Weave Dodge had a whale of a game yesterday. He was all over the place and. You can just see that in the slot. Good setup and bang, right? He's got a lot of talent and he's got a lot of patience with the puck. So you really need to be on him and not give him that free flow. And not yeah. let him shoot from the slot. Exactly. Not much picking it could do about it from that range. And with that goal, Wave Darge, it's eighth of the season. It's the Braves first here with 11.05 remaining in the first period here at the O'Brien Group Arena, if you've just tuned in on AIHL TV, here's Vyasov now, muscled there by Podzins, picked up now here by Joey Hughes, and handed right back now to Hayden Dawes. He takes a check, but manages to clear the puck. Another pretty good hit there from Stringer. It's Kalashnikov, flips this around now here to Apps. Good vision from him. Here's Apps now. He gets muscled by Joey Hughes before he dumps the puck in. Hewitt puts it into the corner. Dawes takes over now for the Brave. He slings one cross ice out to Senate. Unable to control it there was Mietnin, the mighty Roo. Here's Vyasov down the near side now. Vyasov, oh, he lost his edge and lost the puck as he went into the boards. And Hughes seizes on his mistake. Hughes with a shot and a comfortable blocker save there from Pitkinen. Hughes has done well to maintain his presence on the puck. Cycles it off now. Here's Podsense. And as Pod says, moves it a shot through traffic, and I think uh, Pickin and saw that at the last minute as Harvey backhands this one in. We got a penalty coming. Interference is the call. And Who, who's it on though? Yeah, it's on Kleshnikov. And I've you got to watch this again because Joey Joey drew that penalty all the way. He went right in, tied himself up with Kleshnikov, and Kleshnikov is trying to push him aside, so he gets the interference. Let's have a look. Watch this. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. So the Mustangs, not the start they wanted at all. One goal down, and now they are a man down. And their first penalty kill of the game is the Braves' first power play. 
as this one. Oh, Hewitt almost made a meal of that at the side of the net. A pretty good forecheck there from Ben Davies. And almost a calamitous of F effort there from the Brave as they break back in, though. Here's Gerling. Gerling gets put into the glass. Dard picks it up in the opposite corner and sends it right back to where it came from. LeVay cycles back now here to Kubara with Dawes manning the other point. Here's LeVay now. LeVay looking for outlets. Got Dawes on the point and this umbrella here now here from the Brave on the power play. Back to Dawes at the point. Did good well to settle that bouncing puck down. Erzin puts it out to Ferguson, tries to chip it ahead to Davies. May he get in behind the CBR Brave defence, but then he's uh, meat in the sandwich by three Brave players as uh, McMahon shakes off a pretty stiff check there from Gerling. The Mustangs, well, plenty of energy from them despite the score line here on this uh, first period, first flow of action. As the Brave have the puck, though, LeVay trail chips one in behind. Harvey picks it up top of the circle, dishes it off to the high side. Pops it with a shot. Great save, Pickett, and, and the rebound stayed out as well. Best save of the game so far from Petri Pickinen as this one flipped up and picked up by Podsons as he retreats. And over now here to Gerling. Gerling now. It's just uh, slid in over. Here's Hughes. Hughes with Harvey going towards the net. Oh, and that was uh, about half a foot behind Matt Harvey. And he had you know, three quarters of the net to shoot at. Gerling picks it back up at centre. Gerling over the blue line. Met there by Ferguson. So now here to Hughes. Hughes trying to find some real estate to work with. Hughes now back to the point. Picked up again by Harvey. He's forced out to cough up the puck. McMahon swats at it as uh, the Mustangs about to get a player back. Here's Burke in behind. Play one-on-one -on -one with Hewitt. Here's Burke. He moves it. He shoots. Oh, what a save by Hewitt. Did well to stay with the puck and not commit too early. Not over, though. Here's McMahon looking for the trailer in Kalashnikov straight out of the box. And he just can't control the puck. And a golden opportunity there for the Mustangs to tie the game 1-1. Robertson, or oh, he'll relinquish this one to Pods, and Hughes is lurking on the blue line, and he is just offside. Joey's thinking about that one, but I'd say he was. Yeah. You're right there. Um, Mr. Burke had a had a golden opportunity to put this one away. Good little fake, left to right, but there was nowhere to go. He had played him perfectly. So it's funny, isn't it? I mean, again, you got to look at the period and the play in the period. The Mustangs had carried by far the most of the play, and they're down one nothing. Picked up by McDowell. Kubara gets checked there by Humphreys. It's put in behind the net, and Erzin has it now here for the Mustangs. Well pressured. And uh, well manages to get the puck back as it's chipped right out. And swat back out there by Kubara. That's Bailey Kubara. McDowell back now here to Robinson. Erzin's calling for it on the other point. And well, well read there by the Brave as they manage to get it here through Chris Kubara. And now to Humphreys. Well done by Chris Kubara, but the Brave are offside. They're going to have to touch up momentarily. Both Kubaras combining there. And a big hit there by Humphreys. Is that swung out now here by Roberts. At Urzit fires it up ice. And slapped across now eventually onto the stick of McDowell, but he can't control it. And... The CBR Brave take possession. 6.49 to go. one nothing advantage to the CBR Brave. The lone goal to Wahib Daj at 11.05 of this first period. Long-range pass finds Davies all by his lonesome. Daj does well to uh, wrap him up just legally. Davies digging in now. Davies has done well. Davies got the puck. Slides it in front. Here's a chance for Jones. He shoots and a save by Hewitt. Good interplay there by Davies to set up Sean Jones. Jones is going to go at it again, but he has to dump this one in behind the net. It's moved Davies' side of the net. He shoots, and that's off the side of the net. Ferguson now evades a couple of brave checkers, puts it back to the point to McCoy, over to the other point to McMahon. He shoots through traffic, and Hewitt just used the paddle to comfortably steer that aside. The brass tanks break back in, and alone it's Jones. It's Sir Ferguson's side of the net, slides it across the blue paint. Oh, the Mustangs banging on the door now here for an equaliser, and they just can't seem to find the gap between... Matt Hewitt and the goal line, and here comes Darge breaking in with LeVay. Darge across to LeVay, too much on it. Went through LeVay's legs, and he dropped that back off to the point, looking for a point man, and they were both changing. Here's Jones with Ferguson, two on two now. Ferguson drops up, McMahon with a cannon, and a good save by Hewitt, and he fires the puck back up to McMahon, and well, all the way up to LeVay. And that one's gloved back down now here at the opposite point. Flanagan slides it across now here to Matt Harvey. The Wombat puts it back now here to Flanagan. 
He backhands this one straight up, not much on it. So Kalashnikov is going to pick it up now and hand it off to Vadim Vyasov. But now to Stringer at center ice. Got Joey Hughes over the blue line. Fired back to Harvey, and it's picked up now the other way by Gerling. Busting back in, Gerling slides it across, and a shot from Mietnan. What a save! What a save there from Petri Pickett, and Mietnan puts it in front and went off the side of the net, and he's finally stripped of it there by Bright. Bright with some speed. Three on two come the Mustangs. Here's Kalashnikov with a drive and a great grab by Hewitt, who elects to play on. Puts it back up ice. And now here's Gerling all by his lonesome. Gerling, nice moves from him. Gerling still got the puck and just can't put the finishing pieces on a pretty nice solo effort. Well, pretty much a duo there. The play from Hewitt to spot Gerling and Gerling to uh, split the D. Still haven't had a whistle near here in a good five minutes and we finally get one. And that's into the netting and we're going to have a face-off. Do you need to uh, take a deep breath? You need some like oxygen. You need so. some oxygen here in the uh, commentary so. box. Yeah. But watch that, okay? This this dude girling has got the moves, and you can't be letting him do that. Hit him. Don't give him that option, right? He shouldn't be able to split the fence on that. No way, right? And if you watch him, you're going to get burned. There were a couple of great saves. Something happened in the corner down here, and I think that the play moved on, and Ferguson got trapped, and there was a bit of kerfuffle. Well, it looks you like see the play go and see him there. Well, that's Brett Ferguson. Jamie Burke is the one getting the penalty, though. I don't see what that was uh, for. It would, I don't think it had anything to do with that one, okay? It would have been something else. So the referee is trying to explain, really, I don't need Christmas presents, just get in the box. So Jamie Burke and... Uh, you know, I don't see who else has got the penalty here for the CBR Brave. It looks like Jimmy Byers. Uh, but here, here's a shot that's off the glass. And the netting. It's actually Bailey Kubara, yeah. not number 17. It's going to say Jimmy Byers not dressed. Here's LeVay. He picks the puck up and cycles back over his own blue line. Hewitt. Here's Harvey now. Picks it up behind his own net. And a four on four here for the next two minutes as Ruffing's called on respective players. But I thought it was Britt. Ferguson as uh, Robertson gets dumped there by Flanagan. And Mustangs fans aren't happy. Here is an offside call. Did Flanagan hit him? Uh, you get a replay of that. Maybe we could see. I didn't see the... Or did he lose an edge? Let's have a look. Here's Robertson with the puck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wasn't much in that, no, to be honest. No, no. Troy was just going backwards off balance. Um, what I was going to say is, I don't know if people have noticed it, but Hewitt is a very offensive-minded goaltender like... He's got that pack and, li and led the, the high guy about three times. They're going to have to watch that too. Indeed, very uh, keen to stick handle. Mini Marty Brodeur uh, action there. McCoy back now here to his teammate in McDowell. And McCoy back now here to McMahon. As the Scottish contingent, three max cont Combine there and Humphreys. The McDonald's. Well, Humphreys, that's another Scottish name as well. He's picked up now here by Gerling as McDonald's is sponsoring the other team. As <laughs> Gerling chips this up now here to Podsons. Picked off by McCoy. And now he's going to get the puck back with 49 seconds left on the four on four. As the Brave have the puck back now here to Hayden Doors. He's uh, only one game he has not registered a point in this season. Picked up over the blue line. A shot from Gerling and that's red. There by Pitkinen, right in the breadbasket. The Mustangs frantically trying to clear their zone. 2.56 remaining in the period. They trail by one. Two on two. Ferguson and Davies. Ferguson now tried to slide it through to Davies. Ferguson might get it back. Here's the trailer in the Kalashnikov. Side of the net. It's Davies. He pulls the trigger. Oh, Maybe one second. Wow. It's low. It's in. It's in. The Mustangs tie the game. Brett Ferguson. And it's 1-1. One, one. Well, let's just have a look at that again because it almost looked like he hesitated and waited and he waited for Hewitt to come back before he got the shot off. So whether he could control the puck or not. It was a great play by Kleshaw. See that? He, he lost the puck there for a second and gave Hewitt an opportunity to come back and how it ever went in. Did you see how it yeah. went in? Yeah, just dribbled through. Wow. So Kalashnikov read that play pretty good, and he saw Davies open. Davies was wide open, and through the grace of God, that puck went in. Not that I'm a religious man. <laughs> so Ben Davies is going to be awarded 
It's 10th of the season. It's the Mustangs first, and it's a tie hockey game. 1-1, 234 remaining. As a big hit there by Brendan McDowell on Darcy Flanagan. McDowell almost poached that one. Humphreys tried to chip at it. Both players step back on the ice, and we're back to 5-on-5 five five hockey here at O'Brien Group Arena. Burke flips it in. Flanagan has a run at him as it goes all the way back now into the brave zone. Flanagan has the puck now here for CBR. Slapped up ice. And over the blue line come the Brave as they try to muscle through. And, well, the stick of Bright stripped Kubara of the puck. And the Kalashnikovs has it down the near side. And he just throws Flanagan to the ice like a rag doll. Gerling picks up the loose puck, though, and comes back the other way. Gerling drops it off. Here's LeVay. LeVay looking for a shot oh, and goodness. looking for a save is Pitkin. Yeah, that was a great save. Great block is saved there from the Petri dish. Hope now here to Perk. Over the blue line, Burke with Jones. Burke slides it across, looking to connect with Jones, and Hewitt read it, and he holds on. From the Petri dish yeah. or the Petri dish? The Petri are we dish. The, are well, we in the lab, or what's going on Well, it's now? Australian pronunciation, right? So it's Petri's, Petri's, potatoes, potatoes. Uh, I got to say to you that sometime... Oh, here we go. Anders is back. Uh, good morning from Malmo, Sweden. Hangover deluxe from the WC game. Yesterday, Sweden, England, the best way to cure it. Drink beer, drink vodka, actually. Yeah, well, I think, I think the Russians are probably drinking vodka after getting bounced by the Croats uh, after last night. Was uh, there any good? There's never any winners when England win. I'm sure Anthony Russell will disagree. As this one moved out now here by Davies, back out to centre ice, 122. Urzit picks it up now deep in his own zone. Oh, and he's uh, coughed this one up. Good forecheck here by Mietnan. Waiting for uh, reinforcements to arrive. He slides it across now here to Podzins with Hughes on this second line here for the Brave. As Hughes now looking to uh, orchestrate something. Gets muscled by Ferguson. Urzen now tries to shoulder Podzins who's trying to cut towards the net. Podzins goes down, looks for a penalty. Yep, and uh, back referees called it, not the front. And the Mustangs bench are absolutely incredulous. Oh. Well, uh, yeah, I think I'm not sure how much of that audio bled into the mics, but uh, slashing the call, Anna's Podsons, and Wally's. Well, uh, bench mine has been called. Was... So Sean Jones looks like he's the offending player, and a bench mine has been called on the Mustangs. Yeah, they're not happy, that's for sure. You want to see that again. Yeah, so let's have a look at this. There's a cross check. Oh, that's Robertson. There's nothing much in that uh, battle in front of the net. Now, here's uh, Robertson. It was Robertson was the offending player, not Sean Jones. Maybe he's the one serving the... Well, Erzin was there in that attack. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm assuming he got the penalty for. And, yeah. and then I think they got a bench minor because they were pretty vocal back to the referee. Uh, vocal's an understatement. and probably a bit louder because of where we're sitting, but... Uh, yeah. Well, I'm getting old and yeah. I can hear it <laughs> yeah, as so, well as you could. Hey, I'm not far behind, <laughs> so my hearing's not as great as he's moved back to LaVey. Tries to find daylight between Pitkin and, and the goal pipe, can't find it, and he's still got the puck here as Chris LaVey. Dawes calling for it on the point, he's got it now, goes a give and go, but uh, went through him and Kubara. Kubara gets tied up in the slot, and that one's moved across, and uh, the Mustangs trying to take control again. The Braves still have the puck down. Here's Casey Kubara. Slides it across and well, trying. But the stick there of Nikita Kalashnikovs. The, uh, probably the second biggest player out there on the ice behind Hayden Dawes. So that'd be a pretty close battle. As is picked up by Ferguson. Read it well. Davies is the lone hand in front of the net there for the Mustangs. And uh, this one moved back out now here to Gerling. Gerling dumps that one in. That will do it. Period number one is in the books. It is 1-1 goals to Ben Davies and for the CBR Brave, Waheeb Daj and Rod, your thoughts? Well, I just want to quickly say that was a great play by Ferguson. So I don't know if you saw, he got taken out, he was down and he got back up and came back with a puck and was looking for a setup while they're trying to kill a penalty. So power to that guy. What do I think? I think that there's, without a shadow of a doubt, the Mustangs carried the majority of the play in that period. They're at one all which is better than yesterday. Yep. They need to be more uh, offensive-minded, uh, like collectively score, yep. capitalize on that. They cannot let these guys get back in. Their second period is always a struggle, yep. so they need to be focused and come out firing.
Indeed, and we will see if they will do exactly that as the end of the first period. It's 1-1 between the Brave and the Mustangs here at the O'Brien Group Arena. Stay tuned. Period number two coming right up. Don't go away.
And welcome back to the O'Brien Group Arena here in Melbourne. Between the CBR Brave and the Melbourne Mustangs, we are one apiece after one second period about to get underway. Rod Johns, your thoughts coming into this second period? Okay, well, my thoughts are like this. They need to get their guys, this is Mustangs, need to get their guys out of the penalty box and they need to do what they struggle with all year, command the second period and score a couple goals and make Canberra come after them. Yep. So here's Kalashnikovs with a puck, lets it go from long range. Hewitt forced to glove that one down. Don't forget uh, the Mustangs are still two players down. That's uh, in the box with Jones. Uh, looks like I think we got confirmation that Jones is sitting at 10. So this is only a two up on the board as well as Harvey now. Work down low, 42 seconds left on the man advantage here for the Brave. Down at the near side, looking for an outlet is LaVey. Finds an open with Darge at the side of the net. Well read there by Ferguson, who has spotted LaVey coming in at the back door. And it's moved back now here to Matt Harvey. And Harvey has the puck here for the Brave. Well, uh, coughing it up there is Darge. Opens it up here for Ferguson, busting in on Hewitt. He scores! Short handed! The Mustangs hit the front, and it's 2 1. Well, you couldn't have asked for anything better. Man in the box, right? And like I said, they've got to do something in this period to rattle Canberra. So what a better way to do it than score shorthanded off a failed bobble at the blue line. So he's the last guy that you want to leave alone too. Good hands, good speed, reads the play well. Well, he picked Darge's pocket and he's got his Mustangs leading 12th goal of the season. 21 points on the year and it's 2-1 to the Melbourne Mustangs. And we've still got 14 seconds of this man advantage left here for the CBR Brave. Hey, this one moved back out. That's actually the first shorthanded goal for the Mustangs all season, I should say. So a rather significant shorthanded goal. It's well, taken them 19 games to get one. And what a better time than in the second period at the start of it where they're trying to establish themselves in this game. So. Lead 14 on the power play for the Mustangs in terms of uh, power play goals. And the Brave, 16 goals, eight short-handed markers for the year as Erzin steps back on the ice and heads straight to the bench for a change in personnel, bringing Jamie Burke onto the ice. Burke now with Joey Hughes. And skating away with it now. Well, picked up there by Hughes again. At now here to Podzins, just onside. Podzins, well, he uh, plays that one offside and it's put in by Bailey Kubara as Robertson going to fish this one out now for the Mustangs, 13.28 to go, second period here at the O'Brien Group Arena. Two other games in the schedule this evening as Burke uh, gets run there by Joey Hughes and uh, Berkey looked like he went uh, down a little theatrically and uh, play will stop. They, they, they had a little thing going last game. Yeah. And it looks like it's continued through here too. I was saying to you before the start of the game that Berkey took a shot with about one second left in the second period, I think it was, and Joey let him know that the period wasn't over yet, cleaned yep. him up, and, and uh, I think they've had a continuous sort of little rumble going. Yep. So this one moved back now here to Flanagan. And Gerling trying to pick it up now here at the half wall. Stringer beats him to it. Harvey keeps the play alive now here for the Brave. As the Mustangs come away, Stringer up now, it's now here to Vyasov with Burke. Vyasov cuts to the top of the slot, hands off to Burke. He shoots and uh, the shin pads of Harvey prevented the puck going on the net now here of Hewitt. As Flanagan in the opposite corner gets beaten to it by Stringer. Vyasov also in there for the Mustangs as they dig at it in the corner. Gerling done very well there to assist his team on the back check. As LaVey has it now here for the Brave and Finally, they find some time and space to move the puck out. Here's Darge now. We coughed it up, but Harvey and Gerling were both there. Poked out there by Davies. Davies has stolen it now here for the Mustangs. They come back the other way with Burke and Vyasov. Davies to the trailing Vyasov. Vyasov pulls up maybe one move too many as Harvey wrestled him to the ice. And Darge has it now at the half hall on the far side. Shoots it up, looking for LaVey. Bright read it well, and Davies swings back around with Apps. Davies and Kalashnikovs. Davies puts a shot on. One-man show there, Brett Davies. Ben Davies, excuse me. And uh, 
as Ferguson and Gerling. Brave won a penalty there for interference. Play continues. Ferguson near side with Kalashnikov. Kalashnikov, let one go, it's loose. He scores! The AK-47 makes it 3-1 with 47 seconds and 11 minutes left. Well, he's not shooting on period number two. today, is he? Okay. No, he is not. And that was a good play on his part, too, because he followed the play in and he was right there for the rebound. So that's what you want to do. So this is exactly what I said they should be doing. Now they have to keep going at it, man. That was a good shot, and he was right there for his own rebound. So... With He's a that. bit of an interesting player, old Kalashnikov, you know? He is indeed. I'm going to dub him now the NK-47. <laughs> as uh, That's his first goal of the season. Nine points on the year in his 11th game for the Mustangs. And it is now 3-1 to the men in orange, black and white. As Burke goes to work there on Hughes. And now he is Dawes, keeps it alive. Poked at there by Hughes. His shot was well wide, though of the net of Petri Pitkin and Humphreys going to skate onto a loose puck with speed. Humphreys cuts to the top, evades everyone. Humphreys with a shot unseen by Hewitt all the way. And this time he makes the save. Yeah, that was a great little play by Humphreys too. A lot of hard work, cuts across the slot and lets a shot go. And again, Hewitt makes a good good, uh, a good save and didn't really give him a lot. So the 2018 AIHL Final Series proudly presented by Air Canada, hosted this year again in Melbourne at the O'Brien Group Arena. September 1 and September 2, three game passes available. Head on over to the AIHL.com and uh, secure your three day or one day passes if you just want to show up for the final. So the good thing 11... is that if you come to that, you can go to the district and eat at Billy's. Billy's. <laughs> you had to get a plug in there for the Mustangs. Here you go. Why not? <laughs> I'm sure that's where we'll be after the game. And uh, McDowell going to work now here in Harvey. As Burke throws a pretty big hit there. It comes in McDowell. He fires and it's into the shoulder there of Hewitt. The Mustangs creating all the chances. They are all over the CBR Brave at the moment. As Casey Gubara moves it out to centre. Tried to slip it through there to Jordan Brunt. Couldn't get it. Going to get it again and fire this one in as the stick goes up in the air. That one being of Michael McMahon. Burke now has playing with two sticks. Better not touch the puck. Oh, almost did and almost got a penalty for it. Picked up now here by Flanagan at his own blue line. He swings around and up now here to Harvey. Harvey now breaking in there with Kubara. Shot and it scores! Oh. Potson's the trailer oh. through traffic. He gives it the Yaga salute. What a great little <laughs> setup that was. And did you see how fast he let that shot go? There was no thought process at all. Bang. And that's what I said before. One move too many here and there and everywhere. Just watch the replay on this one. Potson was waiting for it and he just let it go. Bang. Yeah, not much uh, Petri Pitkin could do about that. And 14 games for Anas Podsons, 14 goals, 28 points on the year. Leads all CBR Brave players in goal scoring. And the Brave now close the gap to one. It's three to two. Picked up by Darge. Nice move. Looking to tie the game now. Here are the men from the nation's capital. It's moved up and Leve spills it. Picked up by Ferguson, but Bailey Kubara fires it right back into the goal scorer. Podsons grasp, but uh, he loses said grasp. And the puck comes out here to Darge, just on side. Fires at the length of the blue line. And in the feet there of LeVay, couldn't get clean control. Darge is going to loop back in and put it in deep for Urzen to skate onto, but it beats him and Pitkinen helps it on now here to Robertson. Podsons now sends it across. Darge, you know, the idea was there. Darge's shot goes well wide. And back now here to Podsons, who does likewise. Darge gets it back. Doors inside the blue line. Now here's a shot from Podsons. Poked out there by Pitkinen with... The blocker put back now here to Dawes moving in. He shoots. Great save by Pitkin and again coming out to challenge at the top of the crease. Daj spotted Bailey Kubara on the point. A bit late to go to him now. And uh, well, forced to keep it alive are the Brave by cycling it in over here to Dawes. Dawes now he slides one across the crease, trying to connect there with Podsons. And he looks a little frustrated. But uh, the puck dumped in. Robertson's picked it up now. For the Mustangs, 9-10 to go. One goal hockey game here on AIHL TV. Oh, dangerous pass. Almost red. 
there by Gerling. It's moved in the other way by Davies, and he was trying to go there to his teammate in Lazzarotto, and they just couldn't uh, put the finishing touches on it. Moving the other way is Gerling, trying to get to Mietnan, who was trailing. Mietnan throws the shoulder there on Vyasov. Vyasov comes away with the puck and gets it out now here to Kalashnikovs. Kalashnikovs meets Harvey. Harvey gets the puck up now here to Gerling, pursued there by Vyasov. Gerling now in behind the net. Gerling searching for outlets. Finds one in Flanagan. His shot oh, off the far pipe. Picked it and got most of it. Touched it on to the iron. And it stays 3-2. Good chance there for the CVR Brave. Flanagan swats it right back to Gerling. Bright comes away with it. Now Kalashnikovs. Goal scorer from a few moments ago. Up now here to Burke. Burke over the blue line. Burke to the top. He shoots through traffic. And he scores! Matt, there is, there is a lot of traffic there. I don't think Hewitt saw it properly. And that, again, is what you want to do. Use the guys in front of you as a screen and take the shot. So if you watch it on the replay, you'll see what happened. Here we go. Right across through there. He couldn't see it. So there's three guys in his way. And Burke takes the shot, puts the needle in the haystack, and bingo. So he had Flanagan and Harvey as a screen. Jamie Burke, his fourth goal of the year. And it's the Mustangs' fourth. And it's 4-2 four to two with 8-10 remaining in regulation here in the second. The Mustangs getting the wood here over the league-leading CBR Braves so far as Casey Gubara coughed up the puck. It's moved back up to centre. Here's McDowell now. Far side now here to Burke over the blue line. Burke will had that one chopped away from him by Flanagan. Gets checked there by McCoy, but uh, McPhail has it now here for the Brave. Hands off. Here comes Kubara. Jumps it in. Gets dumped into the boards as uh, Casey Kubara fans on the follow-up shot. And Flanagan's going to get it now here for the Brave. He's long pass goes down here to McPhail. Onside now here are CBR. As Burke just can't gather that puck in and Harvey's going to get it now. Here for the Brave. His clearing attempt was a weak one. Brave, uh, sorry, Burke did well to uh, hold that on side of the blue line. Moved to Humphreys, prodded away from him, and McMahon will act as the backstop now here for the Mustangs to try and set up a break in. Again, Humphreys is going to have to get a second go. It had a pretty quiet game by his standards so far, Mitch Humphreys. Brad Apps now, and well, going to the ice is Flanagan, and Humphreys wants a little piece of Darcy Flanagan. Mitch Humphreys... Uh, what happened there? Well, I don't see what started him off because that was a retaliation for something. Well, as much as he probably asked for that, yep. I'm just going to reinforce what I said. It's 4-2, and you've got the play on your side. You don't need to be drawn into something and end up in the box. Yeah. <laughs> so, apparently uh, there was a little bit of a chop, I think, off off the play is what I'm hearing here from uh, the coaches. There certainly was something going yeah, on. And that set Mitch off, yeah. Because <laughs> what, a... whatever happened, Darcy was on the ice, and then Mitch, Darcy got up, and Mitch followed him to the bench. Yeah. So I'm sure Darcy had something to do with that. Oh, yeah. That, here's uh, Ferguson now in deep. There's uh, going to be another power play here for the CBR Brave. The last one they had, the Mustangs scored on. Here's Casey Kubara now in over the blue line. To the trailer, looking there for uh, Podzans. And we've got a penalty coming up against the Brave. And here comes Davies now. Davies now, toe drag around. Davies looking for a shooting leg, drops it off. And Ferguson. Oh, and they're looking for another one, too, on that. So, Hook, there's going to be, maybe there's two separate penalties. Yeah. You're right, Rod. You bet, yeah. And, oh, and a misconduct, too. So, who's going to the box on that one? Wow. Yeah. Well, let's have a look at that again. So, so that's the first, that's the first hook there from Wave Dage. Mietnan's going to the box to serve the remainder, and there's definitely, I think, Kubari. Uh, right here. Watch this. Uh, oh there's yeah. There's a hook there. He pulls him down. So, so Dage, Dage had two hooks there. Yeah. yeah. Maybe he was going fishing. <laughs> huh? well, better luck than I usually do. Uh, so it'll be ice fishing. No, <laughs> oh, oh dearie me. <laughs> There's no carpets, all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, 
So we're going to have a breakdown of these penalties. Chris McPhail looks like he's going to the box. He's probably serving the yeah. 10, I would think. Yeah, so there was a 10 out of that as well. As uh, Speaking of 10, Sean Jones should uh, expire pretty soon. As Humphreys, uh, only minute 27 remaining on his penalty. Daj has got at least two. It looks like it's just going to be the one-two. And uh, we're going to have four on four now here for at least a minute 27. Pretty rowdy fans over there. I was going to say, if you, had a, if you had a camera shot on our friends back in the corner there, they're, uh, <laughs> they're a lively bunch. I think that we, we only sell mid-strength mid here, don't we? Yeah, so. <laughs> so. Imagine if they were at a soccer game. <laughs> oh, dear. Huh? oh, dear. There'd be flares and everything. Exactly. As uh, 6.30 to go, 4-2 the scoreline. Here now is Harvey trying to get around McMahon. McMahon, well, it just went straight through him. Harvey now sends it around. That to hit it, Joey Hughes in his uh, hometown. Playing for his adopted hometown of the CBR Brave. Here's Harvey. His former club, obviously, the Melbourne Mustangs. Does he have political aspirations? Well, I don't know. <laughs> his home perk to McDowell. But McDowell, he fires, and that one was well wide. And uh, going all the way back, going to be a foot race now between Michael McMahon and Matt Harvey. And uh, McMahon did pretty well to win that race and uh, possession battle and get the puck back out now here to send it with Kalashnikovs to Burke now Burke in behind fakes the shot waits for the trailer there in McDowell but uh, Joey Hughes wiser and picked off here by Kalashnikov looking for his second and he just uh, couldn't connect all oh, oh, that goodbye. Burke that's a silly silly penalty and uh, oh Joey Hughes has another uh, accidentally on purpose collision with him well a silly penalty there by Burke and I think Joey may be going as well, but Sean Jones, as the uh, turnstile yeah. on the Mustangs penalty box stays active with Sean Jones coming out and Jamie Burke going in. I don't <laughs> understand Joey on that one. I mean, they got the penalty on Burke, right? So why would he do that? that that's just not productive. I mean, you're the CBR Brave, you're down 4 2, you've got five minutes left in this period. The last thing you want to do is end up in the box on a call like that. And Nikita Kalashnikov's chance for his second yeah. just whiffed at the last moment. And, but, yeah, that's just... Jeez. Oh, <laughs> and, yeah, let's have a look. Well, Whoa, that, well, maybe a little... I think there was a bit of, uh, should we say, um, soccer hooliganism? Yeah, maybe watching a bit of World I Cup. There's so. a, bit, a bit of Neymar there from yeah. Burke. Yeah. But, <laughs> look, at the end of the day, if it works... Not as much, uh, didn't get as much distance on the roll. So, uh, yeah, hasn't had as many haircuts as Neymar, I'll say, in the last three days. But uh, 5.34 how to many, go. How many cards do you reckon they would have thrown down there? Yellow ones, red ones. How many what? No. Cards. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. If it's Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. they're diving every two seconds. Green card. If you had a green card, you could work at the States. Then you just leave. Well, I don't know. Well, it depends if you can beat the wall or not. <laughs> oh, no, we're going to keep breaking out the poor one-liners all, <laughs> all night. Oh, my goodness. But, uh, well, it looks like Gavin Birchall is going to go and sit uh, in the penalty box for someone. That someone being Jamie Burke. Looks like he's got a uh, 10 on top of his two. Birchler, obviously, 29 seconds left on the penalty to Mitch Humphreys. 101 left on the penalty to Wave Dodge, but he's got a 10 of his own. So the score is being kept pretty busy here tonight. And uh, we'll get the rest of the penalty breakdown in a moment. But at the moment, it's a four on three to the CBR Brave. LeVay now. LeVay slides it across, looking for Podzans at the opposite face-off circle. He's forced to just swap this one across. Back now here to LeVay. Well, Jamie Burke getting two for embellishment. So uh, interesting. I think he was called for that the other night too. So here is Hayden Dawes. Now he's looking for the trailer there in LeVay as Humphreys rejoins the action. Four on four hockey now for the next uh, 24 seconds. Back now here to LeVay. And then Wahib Daj will step back on the ice. Back now to the point. Podzins looking for a... Uh, traffic uh, congested crease and uh, well he got exactly that but uh, the puck didn't get through it and uh, well a bit of miscommunication LeVay was uh, heading to the bench on a change Robinson has it now fired up by Erzin and right under the stick here of doors McPhail onto the ice now serving the uh, 
two of Wahib Darja's ten. And he heads straight back now. Here's Erzin with Ferguson. Erzin with a shot. Red by Le, by Hewitt. And uh, just check behind him, see if it hadn't trickled out, and uh, we'll get a whistle. It's very interesting. I don't know if you're listening, but the Mustangs bench was calling out four on four, four on four, and then five on four. And so the thing is, you need to have your head switched on all the time in this game. Grizzly, Burke got two for embellishment, laugh out loud. <laughs> That's a big word, embellishment. <laughs> You know? <laughs> well, hashtag Neymar. <laughs> hashtag always brave. See, I reckon they're trying to see if I can read that. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. It's, uh, I'll give you 10 out of 10. <laughs> Year 12 English, Neymar. Uh, <laughs> he is picked up now. And Cole picked off now here by Davies. Davies looking to hit for Yasov. And, well, the stick of uh, Kubara being the difference. Girling the other way. And his shot goes off the skate of McMahon. And a little end-to-end -end shift here late in the second period. Girling. Oh, in front is Levay, a shot, and what a save from Pickenen, point blank. And the Brave, against the run of play, almost created another goal. They still trail by two. Vyasov. Kubara now. He just uh, forced to turn this one over here to Podzins, and Podzins will uh, regroup here for the CBR Brave, and out the far side they come. Dropped off. Podzins has it again. Podzins Already got one tonight. He shoots and Pitkin and well, uh, almost to the outside of his own goal completely. And he made sure of the save. And the puck comes back out now. Harvey thought about pinching. Almost might get caught here. Ferguson. Birchler now. Birchler watching in. Birchler shoots and a save by Hewitt. Well, Gavin Birchler going looking for his first AIHL goal and very nearly got it. And Podsons, well, a good stick work there by Troy Robertson. And Ferguson retreats and picks the puck back up now here for the Mustangs. And Kaleshnikovs will have it. Kaleshnikovs just drops it. Oh, looking for Davies there at the far side. Couldn't uh, hook up with him. Davies. And the puck conceded now here to the CBR Brave. Mietnan picks it up. Mietnan's done well there to uh, muscle that one off Humphreys. Mietnan runs into a brick wall there in Robertson. The puck trickles back out now here to Doors. The Lumberjack fires and grab there by Pitkin and and he holds on. I reckon that that was Gavin Birchler's first shift in forever. And he actually almost scored a goal. Yeah. And uh, he sort of ruffled up a few things. First game this year, Gavin Birchler, almost on his uh, first shift of the year, scores yeah. his first goal. Well, there so, you go. But uh, let's uh, see, hope he gets a bit more ice time. He, he, capped, well, he kicked it off by serving a penalty. <laughs> and... Uh, well, very nearly uh, balanced it out by scoring a goal. There's Erzin now. Gives chase. McPhail's done well to beat them both out. Centers it. Finds Kubara with a drive. And that one goes wide on the glove side of Petri Pickenen. McPhail in on the forecheck against Robertson. McPhail doing that familiar cage. Well, did well to draw two players to him and get it off now here to Dawes, who just muscles Humphreys to the ice. Back now here to Mietnan. Mietnan now shakes off one. Got another one to deal with. Erzin, and again, Apps now comes away with a puck for the Mustangs with under two minutes remaining here in period number two. Humphreys down the near side. Humphreys uh, poked away from him. Humphreys, though, gets a reprieve. Erzin's going to have to hurry to get back to the puck with Kubara right on his tail. And he gets it back now here to Humphreys and on to McDowell with Davies coming off the bench. McDowell now tries to go around the defenseman doors, skips around him. McDowell still got it. Puck almost gets away from him into Kaleshnikovs. Kaleshnikovs just can't handle it. He gets it back, though. Kaleshnikovs. Thought about it, tried to stuff it short side and maybe one move too many from the big man, but uh, impressive moves from the big man nonetheless. Well, the interesting thing is it seems like every game yep. that he plays, he gets a little bit more involved and a little bit more involved and he carries the puck a bit more and he makes a few more shots and he actually he actually justifies why he's actually on, on this team yep. in the lineup. Yeah. So, because certainly when he first started, he struggled, he struggled without a shadow of a doubt, but he seems to be establishing himself more and more every game. Well, he started on the third pairing, and then he worked his way up to the first with Michael McMahon over a period of about three or four games. So Max Parent showing plenty of faith in him. He's played very well the last few weeks. Here's Hughes with a drive and a good save there by Pickett and closing the five hole. Davies going to go one-on-one -on -one now here with Harvey, with Jones arriving for backup. Davies. Well, just uh, tried to pull up. Puck got away from him. Centers it regardless. Girling didn't know where it was. Hughes did, luckily, for the Brave, and he hits it up now here to Podsons. Now on to Hughes again. Hughes with four Mustangs players and the goaltender in front of him. And the said goaltender comes away with a puck as 
McMahon, oh, looking for the rear naked choke here on Joey Hughes. And uh, that looks like both of those guys are going to earn themselves a spell. Maybe uh, taking some inspiration from Stipe Miercic and Daniel Cormier. Oh, that didn't end that way. But uh, McMahon's going to go for two, and I think Joey Hughes is. And 55 seconds left, we'll have four on four hockey. Well, dude, I'll just say it again. It's 4-2, right? And yep, you want to be rough and you want to be tough. But what you don't want to do is end up in the box for no real benefit. So yeah. if I'm down 4-2, and I'm having to rethink what I'm trying to do here. Yeah. I don't want to be going. So Joey's, Joey's, uh, I don't think really needed to do that. Others might disagree, but. No. I have to say, Michael McMahon got a pretty good duster. He's got a very good duster. It's rivaling yours, John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. It'd be a hard press to beat that. Yeah, so uh, if we have a look, yeah, McMahon just saying, get off my goaltender. Yep. Joey saying, uh, and uh, yeah, a bit of a meeting in the minds, and that uh, will do it. So, uh, as I said, the penalty box doors are uh, going to need some more WD-40 with the way they've been opening, closing this second <laughs> period. And uh, we should also mention two other games being played this afternoon. The uh, Adelaide Adrenaline and the Sydney Ice Dogs playing up at Macquarie. That game starts... Uh, just got underway, excuse me, and the Melbourne Ice travelling up to the Newcastle North Stars. Now, the Ice got absolutely destroyed by the Sydney Bears last night, 7-1, and the North Stars just irked out a 5-4 decision over the Adelaide Adrenaline last night. So, that's a group of second to fourth, and second to fifth, I should say, including the Sydney Bears, uh, seems to be where all the action is this season. Sure, absolutely. And I think that, you know, we've always said that uh, you can press to pick these things and I think last year it was the same and yep. this year like there's still a bit of space to move in there so it'll be very interesting to watch how that unfolds. As we see this the North Stars currently trailing the Brave by nine points in second place now if they get uh, the three points uh, this afternoon then they'll be 33 points six points behind the Brave that's assuming the Brave drop this game if the Brave win they'll go to 42 points and the gap will get even further. <laughs> So then the Dogs four points further back to the North Stars, tied with the Thunder on 26 points, who lead the Bears by three points, who are in fifth place, but have played one less game. And uh, as we get the Abacus, we'll put the Abacus away for just a time being, as 49 seconds remain in this second period, and the Mustangs have got themselves a five on four. Here's Humphreys, now to Davies with Burke and Brett Ferguson, and McDowell also on this power play unit here for Melbourne. Firing one is Ferguson. Well, a misfire to be exact because he didn't get all of that. And out come the CBR Brave now. LeVay with Podson. Podson's running to look. Oh, nice move on. Even better oh, save from picking it. Cool. Inez Podson's cannot believe how that did not stay out. He's got a penalty for his trouble. Wow. And Petri Pitkin, in my word. Huh. What a great move. And you're right. Podson's shaking his head thinking, how did that not one go in? Watch, Watch this. He's open, splits the defense, right to left, and Mr. Petri Kukkinen stops everything in his way. That was an uh, incredible stop save of the game there from Petri Pitkinen. Actually, he finished him off. Well, PP coming up big on the PP. If you we're going to put a, get that, he you, you're down with off. You're down with OPP? Other people's Petris? <laughs> All right, here's Ferguson. A soul fed at the back door, and Hewitt made the save well bringing out the 90s hip-hop now i'm gonna have to stop this before this madness goes any further ferguson mac now here to kalashnikov's over the line kalashnikov's puts it in deep hewitt's gonna come out and get it and that will do it for period number two between the cbr brave and the mustangs it's the men from melbourne who lead four to two after two rod your well, thoughts on that period my thoughts are it panned out just like i said so they actually played a good second period they scored a couple of goals and um, they're actually right where they want to be aren't they so they're in command and they just need to go in that dressing room and remember the score is what matters they're going to have people that are going to try to take to them niggle at them they'll try to get people wound up they need to stay disciplined and stay focused and if i'm the senior and brave i'm going to be talking to my guys about staying out of that box 
focusing on what they do best, and that's scoring goals. So they need to get yep. their act together yep. and plug a couple. Indeed, and we are in for a sterling finish to this one. It's the Mustangs four, the Brave two, after two here at the O'Brien Group Arena. We'll be back with the third period of play right after this. Don't go away. Uh. <laughs>
And welcome back to the O'Brien Group Arena here in Melbourne, where the Mustangs currently have a two-goal lead over the CBR Brave. Uh, quite a flurry there in the second period, Rod. And the Mustangs, the shorthanded goal as well, worked their way back into the lead. Yep, that's right. And they did exactly what they were meant to do. So it'd be very interesting to be in the dressing room for both teams to see exactly what was said. And I know what I'd be saying if I was the Mustangs coach. Look at the board, yep. focus on the game, play offensive-minded. Don't don't take your foot off the pedal and stay out of the penalty box, right? Yep. Remember why you're here. If I'm the CBR coach, I'd be saying, guys, shake your head and have a think about where you are on the ladder and where you should be on that scoreboard because you surely shouldn't be down 4-2. You need to fire and get your, um, get your brain in gear and put the puck away. And a score update from up in Newcastle. The Melbourne Ice 3-2 up over the Newcastle North Stars after two periods of play. The bounce back from uh, last night's uh, shellacking at the hands of the Bears. Here's Podsons now looking for a lane. Slides it across now here to LeVay. LeVay sends it right back to Podsons. And he looked for a tip in front and uh, Gerling just tipped it onto the inside of Troy Robertson's skate. And uh, Ferguson does enough. To win the puck now here to McDowell. One on one now here with Harvey. McDowell pulls up, looks at the trailer. Ferguson, great move from the Mustangs. And the execution just 99% uh, didn't it needed the full 100. And uh, back the other way come the Brave picking and turn that shot side. Brave move this back out now here to Harvey. We said there's uh, five players currently sitting in the penalty box. Oh, well, we have a four on four at the moment. In seven seconds, uh, the Brave will get. One player back, and Ben Davies will come back 35 seconds later. As uh, Kubara makes his way back onto the ice. Here's LeVay now. Pushed out by Kaleshnikov. Short power play now here for the CBR Brave. 22 seconds to be exact. Fired across and almost comes out of the zone. Just traverses the blue line. Doors, well, uh, thought his defensive partner was going to be there. Ponzins plays the role of D-man. Gives it right back now here to Doors. It's slewed, slid away from him. And finally gained back now here by the Brave as the penalty to Davies expires and we are back to five on five hockey here at the O'Brien Group Arena. First time in a while I've been able to say that. Here's Dawes now. Just kept offside as Gerling fires a pass out. Ferguson, the lone four checker now here for the Mustangs. As Kubara fires it up ice. LeVay now with Kubara going towards the net. Vyasov going to pick up a loose puck and hopefully get it out now here to Davies. Did well to settle down a floating puck. Gets it right back to Vyasov. And, uh, well, a bit scrappy here to start this first uh, stanza of the third period. As Levain out. Slapped away by Roberts at Levay. Back to Podsons. He gets checked there by Ferguson, much to the delight of the uh, faithful on the far side of the ice there. Good thing we haven't seen any shirts come off yet. Here's a... <laughs> A <laughs> shot thrown across, and back now here to Kubara. Kubara slides across, oh, oh. and Podsons was looking for his second of the evening. Burke comes away with a puck and gets out now here to Davies. Davies now in over the blue line. And while well, just onside was Burke, according to the linesman. But uh, not going to matter, though, as the Brave managed to clog up that slot and uh, get the puck in deep as they get themselves a line change. Robertson going to go back and get it. Slides it around the kick plate now here to McCoy. Touched it up, and... McPhail there, cancelled that play out on the forecheck. Mietnan's in there as well for the Brave. Comes back now here to Robertson. His pass goes astray and all the way to Flanagan at his own blue line. Hands off now here to McPhail who peels off. His backhand pass is blind and on the stick of Robertson it goes. And uh, McCoy comes in and makes sure of the dump in now here for the Mustangs. Picked up by Mietnan, tried to chip that pass McCoy. Then the Kalashnikovs calls for it all the way in his own end and the Brave will change their blue line court and 16.31 to go the score still two goals in it it's four to two to the Mustangs Humphrey's shot is uh, about two stories too high into the netting we'll get a whistle well I think um, you got to say that the Mustangs have started the period correctly okay so yeah. there's about four minutes gone in this and uh, they haven't really relinquished anything yeah and that's exactly what you want Canberra on the other hand like I said before, they've got some real firepower. They need to work together. Yep. And they need to get a goal and bring the scoreline back. So the Brave, as I said, sitting on top, 39 points. Nine points clear of the North Stars. You currently tra trail the ice by one goal up there in Newcastle. Here's Podsitz. Pulls up, goes back to the point. 
Kubara keeps that one alive. Back to Podsons now at the hash marks. Found now here to Kubara. Throws one on net. Pretty comfortable block is saved there for Petri Pickin and Ferguson clears the zone. Davies skates onto it. Two on two the other way with Jones. Pastor hit the trailer in Kalashnikovs. And he opens the door now here for LeVay the other way. LeVay cuts to the top of the slot. LeVay still got the puck. He shoots and it's just wide of the net of Petri Pitkinen. And well, that uh, pinch by Kalashnikovs almost cost his team a goal. It's Kubara. Beats Davies to the puck. Ferguson. LeVay gets it now here to Pods and slides it across. Top of the slot. Trailing there was Gerlings. It trickled in. Oh. May have been touched there by LeVay. Well, well, but well. That goes through the five hole of Petri Pitkinen and into the net it goes and we have a 4-3 game. I'd like to see the replay on that one because that one yep. just squeaked by and that's really, I don't think Petri wanted that. He's thinking, how did that one get by? So here we go. Look where yeah. the shot was taken too. So he's past the faceoff dot. The angle's covered and really it shouldn't have gone in. So whether he misplayed it or whether there was something that, that uh, it hit on the way to him. Yeah. That's Chris LeVay with the last stick. Oh, it's actually awarded to Gerling. I thought uh, LeVay was the last player to touch that anyway. Oh, man, his apps goes down. Got a high stick for his trouble. I wonder if he's cut, because if he will, it will be four minutes. No, yeah, yeah, oh, he, yeah is. he is. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be four. And who is it? Mietnin. That's... Why is Erzin going to the box? Oh, no, he's just having a word yeah. with the referee. I was getting a bit... Uh, yeah, it is. Can, yes, Kai Mietnin, uh, the offender on that occasion. And I mean, he's... He's again... I think that was... No, it was accident. Yeah, Nothing. right yeah, there. He wrote up his sticks, yeah, eh? That off, yeah. So he just went to sweep sweep the puck away, and he caught the shaft of um, Apps' stick, and it rode right up and hit him in the face. Only two. That should be four. And uh, we're waiting for the uh, penalty box. Uh, sorry, the penalty to put it up on the scoreboard. Is that yet? Yeah, four minutes. Four, four minutes up now. All right. So four minute power play coming up here for the Mustangs, <laughs> and a chance there to get some breathing room. They've looked uh, pretty good, although as uh, Ferguson gets this one out now here to Burke, looking for a lay. Oh, and oh, Davies oh, had 50% oh, of the oh. net wide open there with Matt Hewitt isolated and just couldn't put the finishing touches on that move. Here's Ferguson now looking for a line. He shoots through trial and he scores! Just like that, it's a power play goal with a Ferguson. It's a two-goal game once again. It's 5-3. And, and on the, have a look at this because I don't think he really got a lot on it. It looked like it was a floating puck that just beat Hewitt on his right side. Now, whether he didn't see it or not, I don't, I don't know, but it didn't look like there was a whole lot on that. But it doesn't matter because in the scheme of things, it's 5-3. Yep. And they got a two-goal lead. See? Just a little bit of a doo-doo. Second goal of the game for Brett Ferguson, 13th on the year. And he leads all Mustangs players. And the Mustangs lead the Brave 5-3. With that, they'll still have another two minutes on the power play with that double minor. Well, make it work for you now, okay? Yeah. There's absolutely no doubt about it. You need to put another one away and make it that much harder. So Gerling rifles one back up, and Burke says, I'll take this off you, Petri, before it got through to him, and he'll start the breakout now here for the Mustangs. Well, a little bit of a miscommunication there with LeVay doing the forechecking, and he's done well as Chris LeVay. LeVay moving in. LeVay shoots, and he blazes away wide. Well, goal and opportunity there for the Brave were an instant response, and they squander it. And there was two guys wide open, too. Back to Burke now. Just inside. Touches this one down low. Davies tried to feed Humphreys in the low slot. Couldn't put it on the blade of his stick. Here's Davies now. Just patrolling down low. 117 remaining on the penalty to Mietnan for the high stick. Ferguson, the goal scorer from a moment ago. He spots Humphreys wide open. Oh, and that went straight through the legs of Brendan McDowell, who again... Similar play to before, looking to isolate Hewitt at the back door, and uh, very nearly 6-3. That was a great little setup. Humphreys wide open, and he looked for McDowell, and he just couldn't capitalize. 
Here's Gerling, slap pass intended there for Podson's missed everybody. Here's Davies, dangles through one, but doesn't get through two, that being the number 78 of Trevor Gerling. Burke just backhands this one up now here for Ferguson. Waits for the troops to master, that being Mitch Humphreys, who has the puck now. He gets shouldered there by Gerling, throwing his weight around. That set in front, and Vyasov, well, he put it into the wrong kind of twine, that being the twine of the netting above the glass, and we'll get a whistle. Well, um, once again, I think that, uh, oh, a Andrew McDougall, don't underestimate that screen in front of Hewitt, allowing Ferguson to score, great stuff. Well, um, that's exactly right, okay, and that's what I said before. Use the screen to the best of your advantage. Vyasov, Jones now, McMahon puts it in deep, that goes past Hayden Doors. As uh, well, big check there on Kalashnikov's courtesy of Joey Hughes. Jones has the puck, cycles it back now. Mustangs, Apps out to McMahon, Apps now. It's uh, been the most energetic addition to the Mustangs this season. As this one shot the length of the ice, and Kalashnikov's looks like he's out for a bit of a morning <laughs> skate with that, uh, that stride. <laughs> and uh, rather calmly gathers the puck in. And he fires it up to center ice now here to Apps, who will turn it over straight to Casey Kubara. And that's the end of the second penalty as Mietnan rejoins the action. We're back to five on five now. There's good check thrown there by McMahon. Apps digs in the corner there with Joey Hughes. Five players converge in that uh, portion of the ice as Harvey trying to get through to the slot. Did well, but Vyasov did better. And he's got the puck now. Vyasov now over the line. Vyasov. And his shot was at least two meters to the left of Matt Hewitt. There, there surely was a slashing penalty there. Did you see that? No, I didn't see that. I still have the replay in a sec. Here's Doors now down the near side. Doors fans on the shot. Leaves it for Hughes. Oh, he rings it off the crossbar. Wow, plenty of mustard on that shot from Joey Hughes, and he put it right on the crossbar, and it was uh, nearly a one-goal game again. It's back in front. A shot and a great save from Pitkinen, and he holds on. So if you... If you're watching on the replay, if we see it, you'll see a nice little slash here from, I think it's Mr. Hughes. Yeah, watch this. Oh, that was uh, Matt Harvey, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. Here's the other way. This is the shot from Joey Hughes. Oh. Did, it, did it hit the crossbar? Yeah, or, yeah just the crossbar or, near the yeah. top right. I didn't know if it, was the, if it was the shaft of his stick or the crossbar, because it looked like he was coming across, you know? As this one put in, and Pitkinen going to smother it with the glove or get another face-off. Well, I can only say that the penalty boxes are empty. Yeah. If I'm a coach, yeah. I Take would a like photo. to have it like that, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Take a photo, it'll last longer. We have a look at the schedule for both teams coming up. I mean, after this, the Brave go and play the Newcastle North Stars, and then they have the Sydney Bears in Canberra, and then after that, they only have uh, the double header against the Adrenaline to close out the month. As uh, the draw one now here by the Mustangs. Kept alive by Kubara. Evades the stick there of LeVay, Robertson. One hand digs at the puck. And all of a sudden, did well there did Chris LeVay. And uh, unlucky not to be rewarded with his efforts here with a scoring opportunity. Here's Darge now at center. He spent like, most of the second period in said penalty box. Here's LeVay. Assesses his options up ice, not much on offer, decides to go it alone. LeVay turns around, finds uh, Gerling, who just keeps it on side. Back to LeVay now. Kubara calling for it at the point. The pass was about uh, half a foot too much to his left. And Davies now almost picked the pocket there at Kubara. Then pretty well in on the forecheck as Jones finishes off set forecheck. And the puck comes now here to Ferguson. Oh, what a play there from Ben Davies. Ferguson and Davies, such a great combination for the Mustangs this season. And they very nearly made that a three-goal game. As that puck dribbled almost through the skates there of McMahon. Tries to stand up Gerling. Almost ended up tripping him in the process. Gerling gets knocked to the ice there by Ferguson. No call. No call called there as he is uh, quite adamant there was one. And he had a pretty good case. Here's McDowell now. Off to McCoy. Doors. The long reach of Hayden Doors. Cancelled that out. And then he just absolutely cancelled McCoy out. The control-alt-delete treatment. Here's Humphreys. Kubara can't hold on to the puck. Davies on the back check for the Mustangs can. And 10.30 to go. He'll just settle back behind his own goal line. And oh, oh we got a bit me between Davies and Joey Hughes. And a uh, bit of a love tap there between Hughes and 
Davies as they continue their little battle. Humphreys picks the pocket here at Dawes. Harvey. Oh, he just absolutely hammered Humphreys, who almost went into the brave bench. Well, the uh, the temperature going up a few degrees here in this last uh, three or four minutes. As Joey Hughes now gets stood up there by McMahon. McMahon uh, wore the worst of it, though. Humphreys digging at Joey Hughes. Shoulder there from McDowell. McMahon goes to work on Hughes as Harvey goes to the ice for the Brave. Alone in the slot, there was Kibara. Comes back now here to Dawes. Dawes pinching in, puts it in deep for Mietnan to uh, gather in. He gets uh, harassed there by McMahon. Kalashnikovs goes high off the glass and out of the zone. And Dawes settles it down now here at center ice. Moves it back now here to Harvey. As Kibara goes towards the slot, decides to peel off, and a good forecheck there from Yetnan almost jars the puck loose, but Humphreys is going to rim this one around the kick plate, and uh, unfortunately not kept in as far as the Brave are concerned by Podzins, but he manages to get it to his teammate here indoors. Looking there for LaVey at center ice, settled down by McMahon and his reverse number, 52. Kalashnikovs has the puck now, rims the puck around now, all over the stick there of Burke. That's going to be icing and a face-off. To the left of Petri Pikkinen. Yep. So, um, yeah, definitely. Oh, there's a there's a penalty there. I'd say. Well, and, that, yeah. and he was looking for it too. There's no doubt about that. As uh, you, can you know, one thing I was going to say to you is Levey. Yeah. What do you know about him? Because he's just, he's got the moves and uh, he's a, he's a good playmaker. Him and Gerling work very well together. And most recent stint, Brampton Beast in the coast in the Laval Rocket, obviously the farm team of the Montreal Canadiens. He is one heck of a hockey player. He's played in the SPHL, Federal League, you name it. And uh, he's been a great addition to the CBR Brave this season. Here's Vyasov now. Vyasov, he shoots, and a good save there by Hewitt. Loose in front. Neither team can find it, but Robertson has it now, top of the circle. Robertson fires, good save there from Hewitt. And the rebound is you kept know, by Hewitt. That's... That's probably the best little rush that Vadim's done all game. And like Vadim's a very skilled player and it's almost like he's sort of, he's sort of, I don't know, he's reserved and he's not in the game. And like, that's the kind of game that he can play. He's got more moves than a snake yeah. in the grass. <laughs> right? and, uh, and he's got a great little shot too. Yeah. But he just seems to not be engaging when he should. So that was a real plus there. Yep. Yeah. So 8.35 to go. Still a two-goal game here at the O'Brien Group Arena. The last of these two teams' encounters for season 2018 in the regular season. Here's Jones. Picks the puck up on his own goal line. Swats it across to Robertson. Davies has it. Goes for the flying saucer. And that's shot down there by Kubara. Kubara gets around Erzin. Leaves the puck behind. And it eventually finds its way into the bench for Alexi Toivin and the former CBR Brave goaltender to pick up. And we'll get a whistle. It would be very interesting if these two teams split the four-game series yep. because you've got one team that's on top and the other team is struggling yep. and probably won't make the playoffs, yep. and yet they split with the number one team. Yep. Go figure that one out. Yeah, exa and particularly this last one where there was arguably, from the Mustangs' point of view, not as much to play for. Yep. So, I mean, if they... I think it would have been a much different story if they'd taken both of those games in Canberra. Sure. Um, but... Uh, the Mustangs leaving their run, as we talked about, a little too late. Here's Burke, almost gets the shoulder there from Harvey. It's dumped in, and Hughes will go back to get it now here for the Brave. Humphreys doing the forechecking here for the Mustangs, and Dawes and Hughes will take over now on the blue line for the Brave. Near side is Tyler Kubaru, who was cut off before it got to him. Burke throws the shoulder there on Dawes, and here's McDowell, just chip and chase. Sands the chase as Hughes is going to go back to get it, but Hewitt elects to play it himself. And it comes down here to Matt Harvey. Back to Kubara. There's the Braver in the midst of a change, so a bit of a uh, mismanagement of affairs. But LaVey has the puck and uh, decides to get up ahead of steam down the far side. Here comes LaVey. Chip and chase of his own now trying to get by McMahon. McMahon did well to force the puck around, and the Mustangs come away with it. And that's gone. Oh, that's going to be uh -oh. two minutes. And Brett Ferguson. Oh, OK. It was deflected, according to the referee. I thought that was... Nope. Uh, no. Uh, OK. I thought he'd gave him, given the three instead of the one. And I Brett Ferguson. what he was thinking there. I think he was trying to go high off the glass, yeah. but uh, a little too high. That and was skyscraper high, dude. <laughs> Eureka Tower. <laughs> and uh, 7.13 to go. The Mustangs 
earn themselves a two-minute penalty kill for their troubles. The Brave have got an opportunity now to make this a one-goal game. Here's Davies. Podsons has him pretty well tied up. Back now here to the Wombat, Matt Harvey. And to the other side, Podsons gets this one in deep for the Brave. Darge, who uh, hasn't seen as much ice time in this third period as he did in the first two, albeit, as we said, the second was spent mainly in the penalty box. Sent across now, here to LeVay. Back to Gerling. Back to LeVay now. With Harvey parked right in the low slot in front of Pitkin and providing the screen. Gerling with a drive and Davy's stick took most of the speed of that shot off. Here's LeVay now back to Gerling. As uh, Gerling sends it down low. One touch down low by LeVay. Darge back to Gerling. Darge calling for it. Trying to isolate a lane now here with the Brave. And, well, Podsons, that just bounced over his stick. He had Gerling there, but that was a poor pass. He was trying to get a shot off, and it was right in his skates. As LaVey digs for it at the kick plate. One minute remaining on the power play here for the Brave. And a penalty coming up. Interference the call. And off to the penalty box goes Inus Podsens. And the Brave lose their power play. Well, and that was really not what they wanted. Because six minutes left, 5-3. If they score a goal, they're right back in this. So 6-10 remaining. As we, we have a look at the replay here. Linus Podsens. Yeah, yeah for sure. not much in that. He impeded uh, Stringer's progress. Yep. And, uh, well, a foot race ensuing. Gerling trying to beat Robertson, but the uh, Robertson just with poise. Almost tried to get that out to Vyasov. And Dawes takes over now here for the Brave. Dawes. Whoa, he just absolutely knocks Robertson to the ice. Robertson was the one that threw the hit. Yep. It's a brave shorthanded trying to get one. Joey Hughes brings two Mustangs players like a moth to a flame to his attention. They sent it in front. Oh, oh LeVay oh. just couldn't stuff it by picking. And man, that was something out of nothing there from the CBR Brave. As Hughes still had it. And uh, the Brave are the ones with the... <laughs> well, we're still in a four-on-four, four, excuse me. As we've still got uh, 16 seconds left of the penalty to Brett Ferguson. As this one put back out now here to Dawes. He shoots and it was tipped off the stick of Hughes, but over the crossbar of Pitkinen. And this one put out as Vyasov is collected there by Gerling. And uh, sticks and legs collide as Ferguson steps back on the ice. A short power play now here to the Mustangs as Robertson chips this one off. And Ferguson now, he oh. is absolutely crushed there by Dawes. And back door now, here's Vyasov. Vyasov draws Hewitt to the ice and he can't stop it in front. Centers, but there's only brave sticks. And that one being of Gerling and Harvey and Ferguson collided behind the play. Ferguson drew the eye there of Matt Harvey. The trip is called. And another brave player goes to the penalty box. You know, I'll say one thing about Ferguson is he's one resilient hockey player too because he's been pasted a couple times. Yeah. And he gets right back up and he gets back in the play. And he's not afraid to keep on going. Well, he almost became his own sponsor there on the brave boards <laughs> in front of the bench. He got absolutely crushed he by sure, Hayden Dawes. But did you see that? He did, and he got right back up again. Yeah. So, yeah, Dawes uh, not afraid to throw the body around at all. Imposing defenseman as Gerling still pleading the case here with the referee. So, I have to say this. Um, We've never had a real opportunity to ask if Doors has made the right choices. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Going to have to go memory hole that one, I think. Exactly. <laughs> well, it is only five minutes left, so we are uh, out of material. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're never out of material, dude. It's just a question of whether your material is successful or not. <laughs> yeah. okay? It's whether it's CD or E grade. All uh, right, there, buckets there we, of material. There, there we go. As uh, a five on three now here to the Brave, Ferguson. And Jones, Humphreys, Burke, and Davies out on this first power play unit now here for the Mustangs. Davies now to Burke, manning one point. Ferguson manning the other. No natural defenseman on this power play now here for the Mustangs. It's Ferguson's oh, drive, and oh, the shoulder oh. of Matt Hewitt was the difference. Now, I just want to go back to that guy's tweet because I think he was sort of making a comment that I was dubious about Ferguson's shot, and it went in. So I'm going to say this. Ferguson used the screen. He didn't get a lot on that, and that's what you should be doing. You don't need a rocket. You just need to be smart and take advantage of what's going on, and he did that and scored that goal, so they can do that sort of thing here as well. Yep. So Ferguson 
It's onside, high and well, it goes straight back offside as uh, Humphreys couldn't handle that cleanly. Burke sends it across. They'll break back into the Mustangs. Ferguson looking for the high slot lane. LeVay swats that out. Humphreys gloves down a loose puck and tries to connect with Burke. He shoots! And I think the glove of Matt Hewitt just caught the edge of the puck. As Burke rims the puck around straight out of the box. As Zainas pods a five on four. Here's LeVay in behind the play. LeVay moving in. He shoots! Oh, what a save by Pitkinen! And he holds on. Well, Pickett and played that well, too. So if you have a look at that, he never really gave him the, the short side. There was a bit on the far side, but LeVay went to the short side, and it just wasn't there. So four minutes remaining. As we were, I was mentioning the schedules before. I got through the CBR Brave. The Mustangs, we, talk, we look at their run home. And, uh, well, I mean, it's it's a, already a tough mountain to climb as... Uh, We'll get back to that in a minute. Here's Kalashnikovs with a puck now. Just holds up now here for Vadim Vyasov, who's uh, been in the wars a bit tonight as Vadim, but uh, hasn't got on the score sheet. So here's Apps around Joey Hughes. The 221s come together, and Apps whistles away from his opposite number. Vets it now here to Jones. There's that one uh, baseball batted temporarily back to the behind the goal line area. Here's Apps looking for Kalashnikovs on the point. Thought about it. Gives it. Right down low now here to Vyasov. Around one. Vyasov still got the puck. Kalashnikov's calling for it on the point. And back down low now here to Jones. Looking to orchestrate something now here are the Mustangs. Jones with 3.16 remaining. Goes back door now. He's a shot from McCoy and it's... Uh, sorry, McMahon, excuse me. And uh, looks like the net is off its moorings. We'll get a whistle. Oh, no, it's Hayden Dawes. Okay, I thought the uh, net, had, net had did come off its moorings as well, but it uh, looks like Hayden Dawes caught one in the face. Well, let's have a look at this. So here's the initial. Here's Jones. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah, oh, oh, dude, yeah. Dude, seriously. Like, did he get it in the face or did he get it in the side of the helmet? Yeah, it must have been. Well, the temple's scary because you got the meningeal artery right there, despite your. Uh, I think he helmet. got it in the side of the helmet. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. 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 Mammy, mammy, mammy. Let me tell you, if you've ever been hit with a hockey puck anywhere on your body, you know what it's like. And it's certainly you don't want to get hit in the head. Because Davies makes the shot and Hewitt makes likewise save. Or he's just going for the header. We're talking about it. Diving yeah. header. He's getting into the World Cup spirit. Well, well if one man can name her, uh, uh, he can, uh, you know, Harry Kane or whatever. <laughs> I think we were talking about this the other day where there was a, there's a YouTube shot of a... a, a Veskin yeah, shaking it off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he grew up eating pucks in St. Petersburg, so uh, it's uh, normal for him in Soviet Russia. Has uh, picked up now his Davies and, well, Ferguson looking to connect. And it's finally swung out as Podson loses control. Stringer gets it back to Ferguson as the Brave gain a player back from the penalty box, that being Kubara. Daj puts the check in. 2.48 remaining. Still a two-goal game. Out come the Brave. And it's LeVay now. Trying to get around Urzen. LeVay. He centers one. Slides it across. Oh, it's off the side of the net. Good play there from the CBR Brave. And nearly closing the gap in terms of distance. A bit of a meal made of that clearing attempt. And the Brave keep it on side. It's dealt in behind. Kubara skates onto it now here for CBR. Back to the point now. Picked in by Dawes. A shot and a well, rising shot caught oh, Pitkin and... Off guard. I think Did that, that hit hurt him. him I think what? it hit him in the scorn, actually. Yeah. And uh, we'll get a whistle. Let's have a look. Here's the shot from Dawes. Yeah, it did. It's off the scorn and out. Yeah. So, yeah, Pet Petria. Little. Uh, he looks a bit shaken there. As Kalashnikovs whips this one around. Girling. Kicks at the puck and uh, almost forced that one over the blue line. Dawes has it now over the Brave near side. Well done by Hughes to handle that puck. and gets checked there by Kalashnikovs. So the puck comes back out to centre. Casey Gubara takes over now for the Brave and they wheel back in on a break-in. Here's Hughes now. Good entry from the Brave. Here's Hughes. Still got the puck. He shoots it and puts it wide of the pad there of Petri Pitkin. It well, he's keep, has six skaters on now here for the Brave as Hewitt retires to the bench. And the Brave going for broke. Here's Daj now. Not that they really need to with the lead they have at the top of the table. Here's Kalashnikovs. As the Brave trying, sorry, the Mustangs trying to get control now. McMahon, a little lackadaisical, just flips it up now here for Burke. 
Bouncing puck. Kubara almost blew a tyre. Did well, though, with Burke right on his hammer. Burke trying to win the puck on the forecheck. And the Penalty Brave. Coming up. So it's going to be... Oh, it's against the Brave. Yep. Cross-checking. Cross well... Okay, well, well the whistle it is. Okay, it was against Burke because the whistle was blown dead when the Brave touched the puck. So, my bad. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, there's uh, there it is. Well, that's a, a slash and uh, look, 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 right there. Uh, yeah. well, there's two penalties really. If you will take your pick, maybe three. Yeah. Well, one twenty-three and a penalty to twenty-three. So we've got a timeout called now by Rob Stark at CBR Brave. So, coincidentals. Oh, well, we got uh, penalty as well to Casey Kubara. Yeah. I didn't see. It must have been. I didn't see Casey actually retaliate to that. So I'm, I'm interested to know what that uh, penalty was for. If we take a look at uh, the Mustangs and the rest of their uh, run for uh, July, they don't play next weekend, and they only have the one game against the Ice Dogs on the 22nd here at the O'Brien Group Arena, and then they have the North Stars the following week at uh, the O'Brien Group Arena to close out July. And that's the two teams that are two teams that are above them. Um, and uh, the Dogs in a good run of form. And the North Stars sitting second at the moment. So, and then after that, I think they have the uh, Sydney Bears. So, in, in August. So, it, it just doesn't get easier here for the, uh, the Mustangs. No. But that being said, I mean, this, this AIHL season, the parity has been, uh, you know, we haven't seen this level of parity in a while. So yeah, that's right. So, I mean, unless you're the Melbourne Ice, the Adrenaline. The Adrenaline, to their credit, the, they've the, been competitive as well. That's correct. I mean, the Adrenaline, I think, just they just had a few bad bounces and things like that, you know? Yeah. I mean, they've got a half-decent lineup that yeah. we can't really take that away from them. And Melbourne Ice, go figure, okay? Yeah. I can't figure that one out. No. And, I mean, um, <laughs> and the, the, where we are with the lineup that we have, it's uh, it'll be one, two... Drink a few beers and think about that too. Oh, well, we, yeah, uh, Ring and Robert stack up for some unsolved mysteries as this one comes to Girling. He shoots and picking and makes a save. Didn't see the rebound. Dropped right in front of him. And one minute left. Hewitt goes straight back to the bench. Six on five as Kalashnikov fires it out. And that's going to be icing. Yeah, you said that's. Did you hear that? So Podson was saying, come on, why didn't you blow the whistle? And so did Rob Stark because they waited for for a fair while before they blew it. And I mean, yeah. let's get real. There's not a lot of time left, so every yeah. second counts. So 53 seconds. Five on four. With the extra skater that being, with the two players from each team, the coincidentals to Burke and Casey Kubara. As I was gathered in now here by the Mustangs, looking for the empty net now. Here is Ferguson. He takes a long-range shot. He puts it wide. Kalashnikov's centers. Looking for Davies. And he scores. That's the game. Six to three. The Mustangs at an insurance marker with 34 seconds remaining. And did you see who passed that puck to him? Kalashnikov. Absolutely. So me and you just uh, picked our three stars. And I think Mr. Kalashnikov has four points today. He's got a full mag. Yep. So uh, let's have a look. As you can see, the initial shot from Ferguson wide, and there you go. Well, well, well. It's an interesting way to finish the weekend, and who would have picked Mustangs to split with Canberra, especially the way things are going? Indeed. We, I, I, to be honest, coming into this game, I thought the Brave would just put the Mustangs to the sword, and that would be the end of that. If you'd have seen the game yesterday, I would have thought they would have come out and tried to take them take the game to the Mustangs again but they certainly haven't done it today as well Joey Hughes and Michael McMahon have a, a little trashing match and uh, sticks are down but not gloves and maybe they will drop as McMahon well, gets the single leg and uh, won't end up with much more than that I think it's more frustration there from Joey Hughes they had an entanglement earlier yep, in the game absolutely I reckon this is a continuation from that and obviously Burke and Joey Hughes have had a few so, you um, you're just dying for a fight. Oh, I, was, I, I was waiting. Time, I was waiting for it. I can remember that <laughs> time with um, Victor Gibson and Kevin Bitter. Harvey. And I looked at that video the other the other day. Like I was showing one of my friends at work. I said because they, they're saying, "Oh, do they fight in this?" And yeah. I said, "Check this one out." And, uh, and you were going, 
you were right into it, dude. Seriously, right into that. That was man. a great tilt. I mean, the last tilt, actually, Joey Hughes had was with Dave Dunwoody over in the corner, the yep. infamous people's elbow. Yep. But, uh, yes, uh, Joey Hughes' night is over, and I think Michael McMahon will probably be sent to the dressing room as well. But uh, that's not going to change the scoreline. Let's have a look. It was There was... There, there was, uh, there right was there. talk off the face off. I mean, Joey came together there with, yeah, there was a oh. shot in the back. Yeah. It was a bit of payback from earlier. You can see the top of your shot there. Yeah. They're talking, they're talking. Uh, the gloves didn't drop. The sticks went down, but uh, anyway. And then you can see it ended up becoming uh, EBI 16 there on the ground. There's a uh, well, good, nice single leg there from uh, Michael McMahon, but that's about it. I'll just say again about Michael's game. I mean, not that not that I'm really into this sort of thing, but he's, he, I, I actually believe he's improved. His whole gamut of his games improved this year. Yeah. He's far more confident. He's skating with, um, with a lot more stature, and he's not letting people push him around. He's playing the man, playing the body. He's not afraid to have a bit of a rumble. Yeah. So that's, that's uh, positive all around. I think it was really that that world stint that sort of put lit a fire under him. I yeah. mean, he was really composed on the blue line um, for the mighty ruse. I mean, Brad Vigon uh, played him with confidence, and uh, yeah, I think they once he got a taste of that world's level. I mean, once they all do, you know, Kai Mietnan's another one. Uh, oh, Kai his Mietnan's second, a great second little player. Yeah, man. his second shot with the mighty ruse this yeah. year. Um, you know, once you get a taste of that, it just elevates your game. And uh, yeah, we've seen that with Michael McMahon this year. 25 seconds as the well, it's, this is a funny game isn't it because i mean at the end of the day i think a lot of times that you can be an average hockey player yeah. and then all of a sudden one or two things happen and you get confidence and you go from an average hockey player to a good hockey player yeah and then you can get to the status of a great hockey player just through belief in yourself you know indeed is this one uh here's vyasov he's had a comparatively quiet season compared to his previous ones stringer fires it back in and doors Moves it back up. Maybe one last attacking drive now here from the Braves. Sent across. Potsons oh, whips one. It's oh. loose in front. Picking and makes a save. And it's moved back out to centre. And that will do it. The Melbourne Mustangs are going to walk away with the points with a 6-3 victory over the Sevilla Brave here in Melbourne. Well, I would think if I was the Mustangs coach, I'd be pretty happy from go to wall because really in the scheme of things, they started the game and they were they were in de in demand and in control. They played a good second period, which is what they lack what they lack if you look back in their history of this year. And then they carried that through into the third period. They didn't let people push them around. They protected their goaltender. So all in all, it was a good game. If I'm the CBR Brave, I'd be thinking, really, dudes, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to leave Melbourne with a split. Yeah. I should have rolled these guys. I commanded the first game and I actually never really got into the second game properly. Yep. And it's a bit unfortunate for them, but like you said, in the scheme of things, it doesn't matter yeah. from the standing side of things. Certainly from the Mustangs, it's maybe a little bit too late, but, yeah. but still you gotta be happy. And you wanna, you know, you said at the start of the game, well, the year's winding down, what about it? And I'm thinking, even though the year's winding down, you, you want to regroup, rethink, and have a serious go at the last bit of this to yeah. show people that you actually have a good lineup and you actually are a force to be reckoned with. And yeah. You just didn't get it going at the start, you know? Indeed. And, uh, well, with that win, the Mustangs will go to 22 points. They are one point behind the Sydney Bears, although the Bears have four games in hand over the Mustangs. And as I said, still a tough ask for the Mustangs to make the AHL Good Old Cup Final Series. But, you know, you never say never. But uh, the Brave, well, they'll go back home and uh, well, they have a nine-point lead over their next closest rivals, Newcastle North Stars. And we'll see how the AIHL table pans out at the end of this round. As we wrap things up here from the O'Brien Group Arena, it was the Melbourne Mustangs with a 6-3 victory over the CBR Brave. On behalf of my co-commentator, Rod Johns, I'm Steve White. We'll see you next time here on AIHL TV. It's always an honour. See you next game.